Yeah? Are you telling them about your foods? Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Thank you for joining us. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. Today we're going to be talking about weaning and specifically baby led weaning. We're going to be covering what baby led weaning is, how you know when your baby is ready, what food to give them, how to get over the fear of choking and choking versus gagging, a few little essentials and of course some cute shots of Baby Bell trying her first foods. Like with everything we talk about on YouTube, we're not experts, so all of this is just based on the research that we've done and our very limited experience with baby led weaning over the last couple of weeks. But hopefully this video will be helpful if you don't know where to start or you've got that understandable anxiety about choking. We found this book really helpful. Um, it's the original baby led weaning book by Jill Ratley. And it goes into detail about reasons for baby led weaning and how to get started and what food to give them. And um, there's also a Facebook group as well called Baby Led Weaning UK, which is really, really helpful. What I'll do is I'll link this in the description so that you can go and have a look if you want to. And I'll also link that Facebook group too. So what is baby led weaning? Basically, it's allowing your baby to feed herself. You skip purees and just go straight into solid food. Okay. <laughs> and you can give them almost anything. There are a few foods that they can't have. They can't have whole nuts before one or honey before that age and certain yeah. fish with uh, high levels of mercury and obviously added salt and sugar is a no-go as well. Yeah? Are you telling them about your foods? You can either give them specific foods cut into finger shapes or you can just give them whatever you're having and let them get stuck in, obviously avoiding the foods that we've just mentioned. And this is all done alongside their usual milk feeds, so they're still getting all their nutrients from the milk, but they are just starting to experiment with foods. How do you know when your baby's ready? The current guidance is that weaning should start around six months because this is when babies are developed enough to be able to swallow food and also to bring it to their mouths themselves. The three signs that they are ready for weaning according to the NHS are they are able to sit up themselves and hold their head steady, they can look at their food, pick it up and bring it to their mouth so their hand-eye coordination is good and they're able to swallow the food as well. They don't need to have teeth as their gums are hard enough to, to deal with the food and you'll know that if they've ever used you as a teether because it can be quite painful if they're chomping on your hand. What foods can they have? As I said earlier, apart from those ones that you need to avoid, they can have almost anything. So they can have pretty much what you're having. You don't have to mess around with prepping and blending separate purees and you don't have to make it bland either. They can experiment with different flavors, spices and garlic and all of that sort of thing, as long as it's not added salt and sugar. We've put together a food plan so that we can all eat together as a family and also a little first foods taste chart so that we can record what Baby Bell's had and also her reactions to those foods. It's so interesting watching them when they taste new things for the first time. So this is Baby Bell's first food tastes chart, which we've got on the fridge. As you can see, there's loads of foods on there and she's tried a few so far. We've been marking them off with little smiley faces and so far she's not been massively impressed with much of it. She seems to really like cucumber and I think that's because the cucumber is cold and she can gnaw on it and it helps her gums. She quite enjoyed 
chicken the second time she had it. She was quite into the cheese and the peanut butter and she liked the toast. Not a lot of it went into her mouth the first few times that she tried things, um, but she is getting better with it and she does actually swallow some of the food now. And then we've also got her food planner. As you can see, she's still having milk feeds the majority of the time. We're not really bothering too much with breakfast. And then as you can see, all of the meals that she's having are just the same as what we're, we're having. You'll notice that a lot of the meals seem to be vegetarian. Um, I'm vegetarian, so if she's with me, which she is for most lunch times, she'll have what I'm having. And then when she's with daddy, he does eat meat, so she'll have that. We try and give her some meat in the evenings for dinner. As you can see, she hasn't been massively enthusiastic about much of it, and that's completely normal. Babies don't know that it's food to start with, so they're just exploring it at first, and I think that's what makes baby led weaning so exciting for them. As long as they're still having their boob or bottle, they'll be getting exactly what they need, because at this stage, at six, seven months old, it is just about introducing them to the foods. The NHS recommends that babies are given a vitamin supplement from six months as the stores of vitamins and minerals that they're born with start to deplete at this stage. So we've got her some multivitamins and iron and I'll link that down in the description as well. All babies that are breastfed need vitamin D supplements anyway. So this has now just replaced her vitamin D supplements. But there's quite a lot more volume in these vitamins and I'm struggling to get her to take the vitamins off of a spoon so it's it's not going brilliantly so far how should you serve the food the food should be cut into finger sized pieces so kind of about that size um so that they can use part of it as a handle and then the rest of it can go into their mouth We've also been giving Baby Bell things like scrambled egg and rice so that she can just experiment with that. Not a huge amount of that goes into her mouth, but she does seem to be really enjoying feeling it all. Did you not want that? We found having a slow cooker really helpful during this stage because we can just chop everything up and put it in, add a bit of meat or some tofu, add the flavourings and then just leave it to cook while we're getting on with our day. And it just means that we know that we're getting a decent, healthy, balanced diet there. So on to gagging and choking. Obviously the, the first time you give your baby solid foods, it's, it's kind of scary. You've got no idea what they're gonna do with them. So, it's really, really useful to know the difference between gagging and choking, and they will gag a lot. And there's no evidence to suggest that babies that do baby led weaning are any more likely to choke than those who are traditionally weaned on purees. Babies yeah. are. Oh, yeah. Got safety. Babies are designed not to choke, and they will gag a lot, and this is just their way of stopping the food from going down the, their throat before they're ready. Are you telling them all about it? Are you? There is a saying, loud and red, let them go ahead. Silent and blue, they need help for you, which is a really good indication of gagging versus choking. You are noisy today. Are you helping me tell them all about it? It's always a good idea though to know what to do if your baby's choking. So I will link a couple of videos in the description just so that you can have a look for them. Um, I've found quite a few good ones. There's some that are quite long and some that are quite short, uh, but it is really useful to know. I wish I could all of it on the floor now. What do you need to get started? Well, that's entirely up to you. You can go all out with a high chair and plates and cups and cutlery and special bibs and everything, or you can just put 
put your baby on your lap and feed them from there. Whatever way you do it, it is going to be messy. We did buy some things specially for Ween and the first one we got is this high chair that Baby Bells sat in. This is the Baby Elegance Nup Nup, which is suitable from birth to 36 months. It's got various different levels on it, so it can be used as a floor chair, which is nice. It's quite easy to wipe down. It's quite easy to wipe down, although the straps do get quite dirty. Now there's a lot of conflicting advice. Hey. There's a lot of conflicting advice about whether babies should be strapped into their high chairs or not. Um, some websites say that they should be strapped in at all times for safety and some say that they shouldn't be strapped in in case they do choke. Um, but whatever option you choose to go to, obviously you should never, sorry, everything is escaping. You should never leave your baby unattended in a high chair. We've also got this little tool, which I believe is a potato crinkler or something, and it cuts it in a crinkly pattern, which makes slippery food like avocados and bananas easier for them to hold. With those foods, you can also leave the skin on as well, at the, on the bottom as like a handle, but with Baby Bell, that was sort of going in her mouth, and I don't really think that banana peel is something that she wants to be eating right now, or probably ever. We also got these little coverall bibs. Sorry, Baby Bell, I'll just hide you for a second. Which protect her and some of the high chair from getting covered in all of the food. Uh, these ones were only about six pounds, I think, for a pack of three. And again, I'll link them in this, the description so that you can find them. Instead of buying an expensive floor covering, we just got a cheap shower curtain, uh, which we can put down, and then that gets a pre-clean. Why are you noisy today? That gets a pre-clean by the dog and then gets wiped down after each meal. Um, like I said, most of the food ends up on the floor or in the high chair or in Baby Bell's hair. So um, having a dog is probably one of the essentials when you're doing baby led weaning. We also got some um, little specific plates. So we've got this cute little box one that's got a suction on the back. Uh, we haven't used that yet because I don't think this is dishwasher proof and I'm lazy. Um, so we've not used that one yet. We've got this one, which is a little crab pattern on it. Um, this one doesn't have the suction on it. So again, we've not used it yet because it will just get chucked on the floor, but that's a silicon one. It's quite cute. Do you want to play with the plate? Yeah. And we've also got this uh, Easy Mat Mini one, and we did a little unboxing of this when we first got this. So we're just going to go into that now. And as you'll see from that video, I really struggled with talking about spoons. So this is the Easy Mat Mini Unicorn Collection. And as you can see on there, it contains a bowl and spoon set, an easy mat mini and a duo spoon set. Obviously Baby Bell doesn't really care about the colour of it so I think the fact that it's uh, pretty colours is more for me at the moment. Shall we have a look at what's in here? Shall we? So first of all we've got the spoons, bamboo sticks, Bamboo handles with silicon spoon bits. <laughs> then we have the bowl and spoon set. And look at that pattern, it's absolutely amazing. What do you think, baby girl? What do you think? It's gonna go straight in your mouth. And then we have the Easy Mat Mini. Again, it's got that gorgeous unicorn pattern on it. This is 
use it when it's unfolded. It has it has a lid, which I didn't realise it came with. You probably shouldn't be putting that in your mouth. And then on the back, it's got all these little suction things, which is meant to make it practically impossible for them to pull off. So let's see. Oh, look, it fits on there nicely. As you can see there, it's on and it sticks on really well even i can't pull it off so hopefully that is a winner oh look we've missed the camera angle up now baby bell we're looking forward to trying these items out properly and we'll give you an update on how we find it once we start her on solid food oh it also has a little bag as well to carry the plate in so that's great for taking it out and about oh dear we've not used the bowl and spoon yet from that set because baby bell's not ready for that but the plate does get used at every meal time it does stay stuck on really well and it is dishwasher proof so i don't have any problems with that and obviously it's got that really nice pattern on it and here's a few more videos of baby bell trying different foods As usual we really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please give it a thumbs up leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe it lets youtube know that it's a video that's worth pushing out for others to see and of course it makes us really happy we'll see you next time say bye say bye are you saying bye are you are you saying bye so what is baby led weaning? <laughs> Cup. Teething thing. Oh, Sophie's on the floor again. Poor Sophie. Poor Sophie.